Nikolai Kent. Uh, great opportunity for us again tomorrow. Uh, top five team coming in here uh, in Alabama. Obviously very impressed with their performance and their, and their win over Vandy and in the first uh, matchup that we had in Tuscaloosa. Uh, so a lot of areas we'll have to, to improve upon uh, tomorrow. Uh, as you reflect on you know, the loss at Missouri, uh, I thought from an offensive standpoint, made a, made a lot of improvement. Uh, more aggressive, attacking off the dribble and creating scoring opportunities for each other. Uh, Want to score it more efficiently on some of those uh, open opportunities. Uh, but again, as, as you look at the three-point defense, especially in the first half, uh, we know how important that'll be in Saturday's matchup, that that has to be much better. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned it there, first 30, 32 minutes or so, you guys looked a lot better offensively. Just what, what kind of things do you think you learned about your team uh, specifically from those first, you know, 30 minutes or so? I, I thought I just did a better job of attacking pressure, uh, getting by off the dribble, and then making some good decisions to whether it was scoring for yourself or creating uh, an open shot for a teammate. Uh, you know, I thought we took care of the ball uh, for the most part. Uh, but the, the turnovers that we did have you know, just seemed to be backbreakers, you know, five-point swings. Uh, those are some of the, the plays we have to eliminate. But I just thought overall uh, improved spacing and, and sharing of the basketball and, and some shot making. On some of the three-pointers, you look like you had a guy in there, or at least in close proximity. Are you losing too many guys? I know some of them are coming in transition, but – uh, is there some technical uh, breakdowns or something? Yeah, I, I thought a couple were, were miscommunications, certainly. Uh, transition defense uh, is an area we still have a lot of room to get better. Uh, and then I thought, just like is often the case, you, know, you miss a couple of those assignments. I thought Missouri got some confidence, and then they, I thought they hit some really tough ones uh, as the half went on. Uh, as they were playing with great confidence from from a couple of the open looks we had given up early in the game. So uh, we have to do a better job there. I mean, that's just the bottom line. Uh, teams shoot, the, especially these teams who shoot it so well from three. Uh, we have to find a way to get there and, and not let those uh, be uncontested. It's our responsibility to make the opponent miss. Yeah, Coach, uh, we haven't talked a lot about Sean Phillips, but obviously gets 11 minutes. Um, in, in y'all's game on Wednesday. Uh, just what has his progression been like? Where does he continue to need to improve and just what have you seen from him? Well, I think he's really made a lot of strides in practice, uh, just starting to understand you know, what it takes to play uh, at this level on both ends of the floor. Uh, he's, he's really improved in his ball screen defense. Uh, I, I love that he can impact the game with his size and length out there on the floor. and. Uh, hopefully shore up some of our rebounding uh, deficiencies. So, you know, hopefully he'll continue to practice well and in increase his role uh, in the games. Um, obviously, Alabama blew out Vanderbilt, but before that loss to Oklahoma, was there anything in the Oklahoma game that maybe they didn't do as well or did Oklahoma did very well? Well, I think you have to give great credit to Oklahoma. They, they were phenomenal in that game. I thought on both ends of the floor, uh, really exe executed their plan of attack uh, to near perfection. And, and that's what it takes when you're, you're playing a team of this caliber. Uh, as, as you mentioned, you saw Alabama's response uh, to that and their performance against Vanderbilt. Uh, so I think, you know, as, as you look at their games, they, they can beat you a number of ways. Obviously, that's why they're one of the top five teams in the country. But uh, I think Oklahoma did a great job of defending the three-point line. And, uh, you know, that was a big key. And then offensively, you know, I think one thing that does get taken away, you know, from Alabama because they're so explosive offensively, they have a very good de defensive team. Uh, I think they have great rim protection with uh, their five-man. Uh, they have great length and athleticism. They're able to switch a lot. Uh, I thought Oklahoma was really able to execute on the offensive end of the floor and, and, and put up a big number there. 
Um, I think after the Alabama game in Tuscaloosa, uh, I think Chris asked you, um, do you watch the tape or do you just flush it? Uh, John Brady asked you, I believe. Um, that now that you're playing them again, I mean, you have to go back to it, obviously. But, I mean, how how hard is that? And what can you learn from it? Obviously? Oh, it is what it is. I mean, we got our butt kicked. Um, you know, got to learn from it. Uh, we actually started off the game. Uh, the first shot defense uh, was not terrible. Uh, but we could not secure any defensive rebounds. Uh, we got absolutely destroyed in the second chance points, and they turned those into some of those dagger threes, and and the avalanche was on from there. So, uh, you know, when you play a team of this caliber, uh, second shot opportunities, turning the ball over, uh, we we don't need to supply any additional help. Uh, they're, they're plenty good enough uh, to win games. Uh, we got to try and do a better job of taking care of the basketball and limiting their second shot opportunities. I mean, the, the kind of building on that a little bit, you guys yourselves have, the last several games have, have been a lot more aggressive on the offensive glass. I mean, just is that just another way that you guys can help build, you know, different offensive opportunities for your team? Well, I, I think it's important, Glenn. We're, we're trying to find any way possible uh, to manufacture points. And you know, we've talked about trying to get some easier baskets. Uh, when you get defensive stops, it enables you to get out in transition. And we've gotten a few easier baskets there. And then I think the next thing is second chance points on the offensive glass. So you know, Derek and KJ were really aggressive on the offensive boards on Wednesday and hope to see that continue to, uh, to be an area we get, keep getting better at. Because you know, we haven't shot a great percentage from the floor, obviously. Uh, so we need to get on the offensive glass and try and create some second opportunities for ourselves. How tough is it to, to defend a team like Alabama that just you know spaces the floor so well? And also, when it comes to rebounding, it's tougher to rebound against a team that's just shooting so many threes, and that obviously leads to you know longer rebounds. Yeah, I mean, you you just described the first matchup in the first half uh, in Tuscaloosa. Uh, they make it very difficult on you. They have multiple guys who can shoot it from three. Uh, they have different angles and, and ways to attack you in their ball screen offense. And you know, obviously with, with Miller, have a, have a lottery pick uh, that can do a little bit of everything. So you know, I think their offensive balance makes them a tough cover. Uh, that's why if, if you are able to get those stops, you have to make, sh make sure you are able to secure the, the defensive rebound uh, so it doesn't lead to those second opportunities that crushed us in the first matchup. Um, the, the team has notably improved um, in offensive rebounds the past two, past two games. I think uh, uh, KJ Williams and Fountain combined for uh, ten offensive boards last game. Uh, what what has the team done to improve in that regard? I, I think it's just an effort stat. You know, we we need to be relentless in our effort to the glass, uh, both ends of the floor. Uh, we've made improvement on the offensive glass. There's still a, a ton of room for growth on the defensive glass there as well. Uh, but I just think you know that's what rebounding oftentimes comes down to. You know, we can talk technique and, and, and obviously the, the importance of boxing out and all those things. Uh, but you have to go and, and pursue the basketball. And so I think our, our front court is, has made great strides there in the last two games. Matt, I, <clears throat> I don't know if you – been through a streak like this before uh, in your coaching or playing career but is it is it better at times like this to focus on the big picture and think you know that uh, yeah try to try to look at the overall and how, uh, you talked about you know, trying to establish a foundation for your program or is it better to try to focus on the very granular the the winning this possession winning this half winning this game a terrific question I I don't know the answer to it but I, I think there has to be a balance there a uh, word that really comes to mind for me is perspective. Uh, I think uh, long term, uh, you have to keep your, your eye there, of course. But in the short term, we have to alter the course and, and find ways to get better and give ourselves better opportunities to win these games. Uh, so I think it is as simple as you have to practice well. Uh, you have to do a better job being locked in and, and and understand the details of scouting reports. You do have to win the next possession. You do need to try to win that next four-minute media segment uh, and really try to narrow your focus there. Uh, I talked with Sheldon uh, 
uh, at the radio show about this the other night. You know, coaching's easy uh, when you've won 25 games in a row and, and life is good and, and everything's going smoothly. I think, you know, in times of adversity, when, when you're not playing to the level you'd like to play, uh, this is where you have to find ways to continue to build your team, uh, to strike the correct balance of here are the things that have to get better and improve, and there has to be accountability and discipline to those things, uh, but also have to instill belief and encouragement and, and celebrate some small victories as you're trying to get better and find a way to get back in the win column. So uh, challenging. Uh, but that's that's where our focus is right now. Okay, thanks so much.